My name is Amanda McBride and I'm an elementary school teacher at Bedford County Learning Academy. We are part of the Bedford County School District. I teach courses from science to social studies to ELA and even high school computer science. What makes BCLA an alternative learning environment is the population of at-risk students that we receive. Students come here on a pathways track where it is a decision made between their home school, BCLA and the family that they come here to receive an education or they've made some poor choices and the court system has sent them to BCLA. We know that the current funding formula was created in the early 90s and there's a lot that has changed in the last 30 years in academics. So with the current BEP funding formula, the student funding does not travel with the students. When students enroll in BCLA, the funding for those students stay at their home schools. It does not come to BCLA. So as the population at BCLA rises, the budget that we receive does not, and it makes, harder, it makes it harder for us to meet the needs of all of our students. The amazing thing about TISA is that funding for students will go with the students. So irregardless of if they're housed in an alternative learning environment or a charter school, it will come with those students. So as our population increases, so will that funding. Then we will be able to use that funding to provide the most individualized student-centered instruction that we can. At the end of the day, we are supposed to be preparing our students to be functioning adults, to be able to go to work and maintain their jobs and be lifelong learners. And if that funding isn't available to them, then there's a gap. And this new bill, again, will start to bridge that gap so that we're meeting those individual needs.